with our knights castles we are going to be drawing a dragon today this is part four the dragon takes a long time to make so um, I pre did my shapes I did ovals and go ahead and push pause and get some ovals and and kind of make an outline for your dragon the first shape I used I'm going to manipulate to make a longer nose. So I'm going to format, edit shape, edit points, and just take it right in the middle and just make it long. Go ahead and copy paste, make one black, and then paste again and make it green. Send those to the back. We need to send the green one to the very back. Okay, with the black one, you may have to bring that in just a little bit. And you can turn it the way that you want it. The green one, I'm going to be doing the same thing. Top of the mouth and the bottom of the mouth. I took the triangle shape, copy, paste, turn it upside down. And it's going, they are going to be the teeth, so I'll be making some teeth. I'll make four of these. And make them a little skinny. Smaller as it goes back. So all I'm doing is making them Small. Then I will select all four of those in Format, Send Back. Now because they're in the very back, we need to send the black and the green to the back. Okay, for, the, for the head. Just put a little bit of green here. We're going to bring the eyes down a little bit. This is going to be the covering for the eyes. Go ahead and shift. Um, oh, I'm, I want to play with this piece first. So edit points. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit. Bring it down a little bit. For the body, I just want to make bigger and manipulate the pieces. I'll bring this down and over. If you don't like the piece, go ahead and redo it. I'll just keep that. I'm going to move the legs out of the way and work with them last. Okay, so the tail. Manipulate the piece. I just want to make this a little skinnier here. A little wider here. Same with that one. A little skinnier. And this top one. I want to make it smaller and possibly have a point. Now my point ended it up on that side, so I'm just going to flip it. And you can take oh before you do anything, go ahead and copy and paste this piece right here. We need both of them. Copy and paste both of those. and bring them to the side. Get rid of that one. Go ahead and merge those shapes together and you can turn that one yellow. This is for the belly. We do want to take all of these pieces and merge them together into one solid piece. Take the tummy 
and you can either do it this way or you can send it to the back, which I'm going to do. I'm going to send that to the back and then just put it where I want it. Okay, then you can add your legs. Go ahead and um, I'm not going to really play with the legs. I'm just going to merge them together and bring to the front. And the same way with these. And bring to the front. I can play with those later. Okay, for the um, horns on the back, I took an oval and I edit the points and I just took it like this kind of made a horn looking thing and I just copy and pasted them all down the back of the dinosaur and also on the tail but I did make them a little bit smaller on the tail and you can flip those around if you want to so I'll just make them smaller. Copy, paste, control C, control V. And then just make them a little smaller going down the tail. And then what I did for the horns, I just put did the same thing almost. Copy, paste, except I rotated the other horn and I sent it to the back. Now with these, I actually colored those red. Just for fun. And then with the tail, I'm going to copy, paste this triangle. I took the edit shape points and just brought it to the middle just to bring it up a little bit give a little bit of a curve to it and then just stuck it on the tail okay for ears I took the same shape that I did the horns but I made them skinnier bring to the front Copy, paste, rotate, and then sent to the back. And you can play around with the ears where you want them to go. If you want them to go higher or lower. For the eye, I brought in a circle, colored it green, and brought it in and then I had my eye shape already done bring to the front and then for the nose I took this green shape let's put it out to the side so I can play with it and then brought it down here. I'm actually going to group those together. And then I took the black circle made it smaller. And then I took one more circle and I made the outline no outline because I want to cover that up and bring that forward copy paste I need another one it's hard to grab those without grabbing other things okay so there's the dragon and in order to make the toes I just did this shape 
and I made three of them. I'm going to change the color to gray. You can change to whatever color you want. I grouped them together, made it smaller so it fits on the foot. Another feet, and there's another one. And you can add other things to it if you would like. You can um, take the legs so they don't continue all the way through. Um, anyway, there you have your dragon.